So continuing with the radians, topic is trig ratios, exact values. Hit pause, make some notes when you're ready, hit play again. So some exact values of trig, which you should know. Um, we're going to try and fill this table in as best we can. Let's start with um, 45 degree angles, sine, cos and tan, 45 degrees. Um, in order to do that, let's sketch a triangle, isosceles triangle, 90 degrees. So that's our 90 degree angle there. This is one and this is one. These are going to be 45 and 45 degrees. One and one using Pythagoras. This is going to be the square root of two. Two. Good. So sine of 45. Always remembering Sokatoa. Sine of 45, opposite of a hypotenuse, 1 over root 2. And if we rationalize the denominator, that's the same thing as root 2 over 2. Cos 45 is equal to adjacent of a hypotenuse, so 1 over root 2. Again, rationalize root 2 over 2. And tan of 45, which is equal to opposite over adjacent which is one oops let's put a line here it's over so we can put that in our table here uh, root two over two or one over root two doesn't matter which one root two over two and one then let's um let's have an equilateral triangle Equilateral triangle, all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same. So um, let's say this is 2, this is 2, and this is 2. The angles are going to be 60, 60, and 60. So if we split it down the middle here, then this side becomes 1 and this side becomes 1. So we've now got a 30 degree angle here. If I redraw that, because it, uh, it gets cramped in there. So if we redraw that, like so, that's 2, that's 1, that's 60 degrees, that's 30 degrees. And then by Pythagoras, this is going to be the square root of 4 minus 1, so the square root of 3. So we can do the same again. We can do, let's do 60 first. Sine of 60 is equal to sine of 60. It's going to be opposite of hypotenuse, root 3 over 2. Cos of 60. Cos of 60 is going to be adjacent of hypotenuse, a half. And tan of 60 is equal to opposite of adjacent. So that's root 3. You can fill the table in here with... Uh, root 3 over 2, a half, and root 3. From that same triangle, we can do 30 degrees. So sine of 30 is equal to sine of 30 is going to be opposite of a hypotenuse, a half. Cos of 30, cos of 30 is adjacent to a hypotenuse, root 3 over 2, and tan of 60, whoops, tan of 30 is equal to, tan of 30 is going to be opposite over adjacent, 1 over root 3. And if we rationalize the denominator, we get root 3 over 3. Okay, so we can fill that in our table here. A half, root 3 over 2, and root 3 over 3. Um, to do uh, 0 and 90, I'm going to sketch the curves. Uh, I'm just looking for a bit of space. Let's do sine, the sine curve here. Might need a bit more. Sine curve, like so. And it carries on. 
So that's going to be um, 180 or pi. And uh, that's going to be 2 pi there. Sine curve. Um, sine of 0 is 0. Sine of 90 or pi by 2 is 1. Let's do a cosine curve. Cosine curve. Just all good practice for you. Cosine curve. There's your pi. And it comes down to 2 pi there. Good. So sine of 0, sorry, cos of 0 is 1. Cos of 90 is 0. And if we sketch a little tan curve here. Asymptote. Asymptote. Yeah. And another one going like that. So that's pi by 2. And that's pi there. Okay. So, um, tan of 0, 0, tan of 90, it uh, does not exist. So we leave that blank. Good. Copy and complete the table. <clears throat> and we move on to the next section. There will be questions asked on this one. Why do you need to know the proofs? And um, I can't really answer that because, you, you know, as Tommy will point out, You've got a calculator now which which does all of this and you can use it in all the exams so i think it's worth knowing but uh, you do have your calculator so it's always handy to check right hit pause make some notes and when you're ready hit play again example find the exact value of cos 4 pi by 3. so that means not using the calculator we want to use from our table what we had last time so 4 pi by 3, what is that in degrees? I often find working in degrees um, quite useful here. 4 over 3 pi is the same thing as 4 times 180 divided by 3. 3 goes into itself one time and into 180, 60. So 4 times 60, 240 degrees. So cos 4 pi by 3 is the same thing as cos 240 degrees. So in order to find that, I need to sketch the curve and then use symmetry to find the exact value. So there's my curve there. Now, looking at the curve in, in degrees, I've got it in terms of uh, radians. That's 90, that's 180, that's 270, and that's 360 degrees. Right, so 4 pi by 3 or 240 is between 180 and 270 and it sits there, 4 pi by 3. So that's 30 degrees away from 270. Okay, 240 plus 30 gives me 270. Now, to find out where it's hit the curve, I need to extend a line back to where it hits the, the Y curve there. Now it's cut the, um, the cosine curve there. Now at that point, that's, this is 30 away by symmetry, so this is also going to be 30 away, it's 90 plus 30, that's 120 degrees, which is also 2, two over 3 pi in terms of radians. Right, now 120 by symmetry is the same thing as 60 degrees here. Now 60 degrees I can I know what 60 degrees is from my table. That's a half. So 120, because it's below zero, that's going to be minus a half. So we can say that cos of 4, four thirds pi is equal to, it's going to give me the same reading as cos of 120 or 2 thirds pi which is the same thing as negative value of cos of 60 pi by 3. 
which is a half, or minus a half. Good. So I, I tend to work these out in degrees and then flip them back into radians. So um, hit pause, make some notes, and when you're ready, hit play again. Okay, in this example, we've got to find the exact value of sine of minus 7 pi by 6. Now in degrees, what is 7 pi by 6? So 7 pi by 6 is equal to 7 times pi is 180 divided by 6. 6 goes into itself one time and it's 180 30 times. 7 times 30, 210 degrees. So that's equal to sine of minus 210 degrees. So if we sketch our curve, like so, and if we remember what that they mean, pi is 180, so minus pi is minus 180, minus pi by 2, minus 90, minus 270, pi by 2 is 90, pi is 180 in degrees, just to give us an idea. Now 210 or minus 210 is going to be 30 on, 30 smaller than 180. So if we mark that on our graph, there's our minus 7 pi by 6. Okay, minus equals minus 210 degrees. So that's 30 from there. In order to find the exact value, we're going to draw a line back towards the y-axis. We'll go a little bit further to where it hits there. So there, where it has hit the um, hit the curve. It doesn't want me to. Uh, there you go. So where it's hit the curve there. Now, by symmetry, we can see that um, from 180 to 210 is 30 degrees. So from zero, we're going to add another 30 degrees, and that point here is 30 degrees. Same thing as pi by 6. So that's pi by 6. Now, we know what the um, sine of 30 degrees is from our table. Sine of 30 degrees, can you remember? It's a half. So we can say that sine of Let's write it again here. We've got a bit of space. Sine of minus 7, minus 7 pi by 6 is equal to sine of 30 degrees or pi by 6, which is equal to a half. So by symmetry, we can read of the graph. You can see that that's crossing the same as the same as 210 degrees. Good. Hit pause, make some notes, and you can attempt a couple of questions for me then. Okay, so exercise 5b. Um, I'd say go down the left hand side, but you haven't got any negatives in that question. So in question one, maybe the, the, the left hand side and the middle to get some and the same thing with question two and then question three. Not many questions. Okay, good luck.